Asia classification. This classification is used in patients with spinal cord injury. So Asia A, B, C, D, and E. So A means complete spinal cord injury. There is no sensory or motor function preserved. If you are in college and you get an A, then you are doing very well. But if you have a spinal cord injury and you have an Asia A, that's not very good. So Asia A is bad. B is incomplete, means you have sensory, but no motor function preserved below the neurologic level. But the sensation may be just sacral sparing, S4 and 5 segments. C is incomplete. There is a motor function preserved below the neurologic level, but more than half of the muscles below the neurologic level have grade less than 3 over 5. So the patient cannot raise the arms or the legs of the bed because the action will be against gravity. Patient will not be able to move the muscles against gravity. Some muscles are working but weak, so it cannot work against gravity. How about D? It's incomplete. There is motor function preserved below the neurologic level, but more than half of the key muscles below the neurologic level has grade 3 over 5 or more. Asia E. E is strong like an elephant. E elephant. E is normal, normal motor and sensory function. So how do you remember that? A is bad because it's not a college. Then you got B, B, you got some sensation, sacral sparing, and C, more than half the muscles below the level of the lesion have less than three over five grade. And the D, more than half of the muscles below the level of the lesion has grade 3 over 5 or more. And the E is normal, normal motor and sensory function. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.